Hey guys, today I'll be talking to you guys about the ways you can grow spiritually and mature in your faith as a Christian. Let's do it. So first off, the most important thing you can do in order to grow in your faith is to mentally make a decision that you will take your Christian walk seriously. So what does it mean to take your Christian walk seriously? Well, it means to take your relationship with God seriously. Once you make this decision in your mind, understand that it might not be easy, guys. It's gonna be like learning how to walk. Why? Because that's actually exactly what you will be doing. Learning how to walk as a Christian, as a new creation, as a son of God, as the new man, as the Bible states, okay? You're, you're, you're learning how to shift and go from the flesh and natural into the spirit side of life, the spirit side of things. So it's a big change, man. So take it easy on yourself. It might be a little difficult, okay? Learning how to be spiritually minded and to set your mind on the things of the spirit does take work, especially in the beginning. You might be used to waking up late. You might be used to just, you know, grabbing your phone, scrolling on social media, or just texting your buddy and just, just doing things um, like everybody else does, you know, without paying attention to God or thinking about his word. So it's gonna be a little change. You might be used to watching movies and secular YouTube videos on your free time. You know, you might be used to always looking at things and listening to things that, that you will probably not get a great benefit of doing while you're wanting to grow. So you're gonna go from a mindset that is based on one thing and placing its focus on a whole other thing, on God. That's the point, right? So this is part of the renewing of the mind. Very important. So let's go ahead and start. Number one, start thanking God and speaking to him about little things like when you wake up, before you eat, while you drive, Thank him for the day. Thank him for his protection. Thank him for his provision. Things like that, you know, just to get that conversation started, just to get that fellowship started with God. It's key. Okay, number two, start following Christian social media pages so that you can see little scriptures, see little devotional, little things that encourage you, that remind you of God and his word whenever you're online. It's a big help. Number three, now go on, follow all the pages that you might be following that have content and language that promote worldly thinking, that promote lust of the flesh, that promote things that are contrary to God and contrary to his word. It's not good. It's just that simple. You don't want that to be influencing you because it's going to make things harder and the process of thinking different even longer for you. Okay? So that'll be the next tip. See, so you don't, you don't want to have to attempt to forget this half-naked chick you just saw just because you were simply scrolling on Instagram. You weren't looking for it, but it might be there if you're following the wrong people. That might take your mind, which will take your body to the wrong place. That is definitely not going to help you grow, okay? Number four, start watching preachings on YouTube and Bible-based movies on Netflix instead of the regular things you watch during your spare time. I'm not saying to cut off everything that's not Christian, but at least while you're wanting to grow, at least while you're starting out and wanting to get serious with God, take in all you can take in with Bible-based content. Later on, you and God can decide what your conscience uh, permits you to watch without your purity and your honor to God being compromised, okay? Let's stop right here for now. This is the perfect way to start, trust me. Try these four things and check back with me on the next video. Part two will bring you into a higher place of relationship with God than ever before, okay? These might sound basic, minor, or a very amateur to some of you guys, but trust me, this is a great way to start and it will help you change your thinking and place your attention and focus on God more. And that's the goal. Let me know how this goes, okay? Let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel to stay up with upcoming videos for you, okay? Love you guys. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. See you next time.